Ardra is famous for its hand-woven Donegal tweed since the 1870s. It was a cottage industry in the area, with the wool being dyed, spun and woven from home. Weaving was the main industry in the town with generations of weavers in every family. It was the only method of making money with some of these families had. Triana designed the Falcha Ireland approved Donegal Tweed Centre. Still keeps alive these traditions today. It's housed in a beautiful, formerly known as the Marsh, where the work of the weavers was carried out many years ago. It was here they spun the wool and created beautiful pieces of fabric woven on the wool, traditional hand looms which are still being used today. The loud clicking of the looms filled the building as the local weavers worked hard to get their webs of cloth finished in time to be sold each month. The noise of the looms still echoes throughout the shop today as some of the few remaining workers work hard to keep the traditions of Donegal tweed alive. Dennis Mulhern, a fifth generation weaver himself, bought the building in 1985 from Uderus Nagiltatha and together with his wife Anne worked hard to keep his family traditions alive. My role here is the giving the tours. That would be my most important role here. In the shop after, of course, I help the people out with uh, sizes and etc. whatever, you know, colours they're looking for. But uh, the most important role that I would do here would be uh, telling them all the history, the background to the making of Donegal Tweed from start to finish. Their daughters Katrina and Patricia grew up with the business and have both got active roles in the main day-to-day -day running of the business. We've been in business now for 30 years this year actually. We're having like a sort of a mini 30-year anniversary. We have a lot of different things, events planned, PR events so lined up for the year. We're just going to try and celebrate the fact that we're 30 years in business, especially as it's based on a traditional heritage such as Donegal handwoven tweed and that we've um, maintained and grown a business um, out of that this last 30 years. Ardra in itself is the home of uh, Donegal tweed. Um, it's been an industry here for years, the wools and the tweeds and knitting and all that's in this area here. My dad saw the opportunity of buying a building which was originally the Mart um, and it was years ago housed um, the looms and um, was a weaving industry. So um, it closed down and then, um, as I said, my dad bought it off Uderus the Giltok then 30 years ago and he developed it up a little bit and started the manufacturing of the tweed and the uh, garments and um, machinists. We took on board staff and trained them in and it all just started from there. I'm here now permanently this 10 years and my sister's involved in the business too, along with my mum and dad. So we all have a family network and it's very much family based. A lot of our staff here are here for years and years. So we all work together and we're happy here every day and we have a good thing going on here now. Yeah, so. We have a large range of products from jackets to cape for men, women and we change our styles a couple of times every year. We work with a designer and our cloths, you know, my dad designs a lot of the colours with the cloth, he works with the weaver and um, those are wove all, all winter, all year round and then we're basing that then on our, our styles for the seasons ahead. We provide a, a large selection of garments and we like to base it on quality and what we do is unique. We, we only sell here and just exclusive on our website so they're not going to see it anywhere else else and therefore they feel they're getting something really different and something special and an investment as well. Well we're all loving the new jackets that, that we're, we're, we're modelling like this is our new designs this year and they're for all age groups like sometimes people think tweed is, is usually associated with an older person but again fashion and trends this last number of years it's taken a whole new revival. A lot of the celebrities um, you know, TV personalities are all wearing the tweed now, you know, in, in a fashionable way and therefore it's taken a whole different outlook for young people as well. So I, we love the jackets that we're wearing here now. All the girls are mad about them. They have them, their eye on them all for, for now and for the winter with their jeans and their boots and so, yeah. Word of mouth is a huge factor for us. You know, we have people that come here and they're on bus tours or private tours and their friends or their family or so on have been here and have had such a great time or have bought something and they've, they've come here and made it a point of their tour of their holiday to come up here and visit us and we get a lot of repeat business for that reason and that's, that's a huge aspect. As I said, you get that unique experience and unique product and that's what people like now when they're spending money on something, they want to get something for their money, they want to get something different, they want to get something that they have for years to come you know it's not just um, impulse buying anymore people buy something that's an investment that they're going to get use out of now so therefore you know we like to make people feel that they're getting something really different unique 
with a bit of culture behind it, a bit of history behind it, and also fashionable and modern to the day as well. In contrast to the fact that we still use the looms that are over 150 years old to weave our tweeds and our designs are done, but you have to incorporate in the modern day um, styles into it, you know, and you have to keep, obviously, with social media and everything, we have to move along. You know, we have a, a massive international market, huge US market, like all of the tour buses we get are all US, Canadian, Australian, so we have to make it globally, worldwide, you know, so of course you have to keep things moving and it moves very fast, fast paced, fashion industry as well, styles change so quickly, so yeah, we got to keep up to date all the time. Part of our tour that we give our bus tours and our customers, the spinning is uh, the old way of spinning the thread is part of it and um, I do that because my grandmother taught me that when I was very little and she was in here doing the spinning when we started off first and um, I was curious I'm sure as like any seven or eight year old so she taught me how to spin and there, there is apparently a certain knack to it, so there's some people can do it and some people just can't. So she, she used to say I was very good at it, but I think I had a good teacher. She spun all her life, like, so she taught me how to do it. So it's nice, it's a nice aspect to add to the tour, you know, it gives an insight into how basic things were, you know, those days and what they had to do, like, so it proves very popular now that tourists like taking photos and video coverage of it, yeah. Trina Design has gone from strength to strength and over 30 years in business, the Mulhern's hard work has paid off. They have a thriving Donegal tweed business and shop which is on the itinerary for all major national and international tour companies.